a premium lace wig tutorial. Okay, so inside a wig comes. So this tutorial is pretty much for the person that spends money on their wig but does not know how to customize their wig. So for this tutorial, we're not going to bleach the knots. So these knots, I believe, are already pre. I'm actually really impressed. This is me just taking it off the box. And honestly, you don't have to bleach these knots. You can if you want to, but you don't have to bleach it, to be honest. This is kind of pre-plucked already. They kind of did the work for you. So, ooh, this might be kind of nice, actually. I look crazy, okay? I look great, great. But I don't know. I kind of like it. So what I'm going to do with this wig is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to put this wig on without. To go in and cut the lace off so this because it's a 360 frontal you have this like line right here you can see that kind of lets you know that this is where the ear to ear part should be so I'm gonna attach the headband on you actually don't need to put on a headband to be honest because this feels really snug all right so you guys can see I put the headband on right here so kind of close to the edge but not too close same for over here kind of close but not too close okay i lied i'm gonna need to pluck a little bit because i don't like how skinny that part is i, don't, I haven't been liking the middle part on me lately because i think it makes my face look a little weird Alright guys, so like I mentioned before, this is a full lace wig. Um, what that means pretty much is that there's no wefts, there's no tracks on this actual wig. Which means it's very important that you take time out to really get close to the root and put a lot of heat on the root. The thing about full lace wigs is sometimes it may rise at the root and it might actually make your hair look a little bit higher than what it is. So I like to put a lot of heat and time and stress on the roots just to make it like lay flat with that you could either use a flat iron like I'm using you could use a hot comb you could use a curling iron or you could use a blow dryer to kind of just make the roots flat now the hair was already straight but I kind of just wanted it to be like a little more bone straight and I also like I said wanted to flatten out the roots so this probably took the longest time as far as me just taking it out the box, but that's kind of like something that you have to consider when it comes to full lace wigs. I then went to a side part. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been feeling middle parts on me lately so i kind of just went ahead and switched to a side part guys and then i used gotta be glued just for the sides of my hair but i'm going to explain to you a little bit more of why i use the gotta be glued and how i kind of get around not using it on the full um hairline so keep watching so this is how it looks after i put all that energy into it guys if i did not do this like straighten out the roots it would have been so puffy and not look natural all right so you guys can see i did a little bit of flyaway action going on right here right so this i don't have my spray with me i'm not i'm not home I'm not in atlanta i'm in new york right now so i don't have any of my tools i have like the bare minimum so i'm trying to make this work right now okay so <laughs> all i have is it's gotta be glued gel and to keep my flyaways down you know I'm just going to, I'm taking a, oh my, a teeny bit, like that little bit right there, and I'm just going to smoosh that around. That should do the job, because it did. And then I don't want it to get stuff like this, so I'm just going to comb it out. And that should hold your flyaways down. Um, I just got some more from the sink. And do not put a lot of that gotta be glued on your hair on your hair. It will stiff, make it stiff, but I'm combing it out so that it doesn't stay stiff. I know I said I wasn't gonna use any gotta be glued, but 
I kind of just wanted to keep this part down. But that's the only, right here and right here are the only two places that I put got to be glued. So let's put it like this so I can save myself. From right here and on, there's no got to be glued. So this is all just the wig right here, okay? From this side and on, there's got to be glued, okay? So, I mean, you can still put it behind your ears if you wanted to and just comb that out so it don't look a little napping but you could do that or you can just say i'm gonna put a little bit of gel but i pretty much didn't put anything you guys seen that but i'm feeling this wig though this is 150 percent density i believe this is jet black hair and it's 100 percent human hair and as you guys seen before it was a 360 lace frontal wig so i showed you guys the back remember guys we also didn't bleach the knots this is how it looks up close so you can bleach it if you want to I'm more for bleaching my not so if you're okay with that then this tutorial was perfect for you I think it came out kind of good this is how it looks towards the end so I think I'm really becoming um, a huge fan of these frontal wigs because Oh, why am I even my hand? Part from here all the way down the middle. So this is the, I mean, if it was done properly, you could part it all the way down the middle. End result. So I love the hair though. It really is jet black. This is so pretty. I'm gonna take some really good pictures for Instagram. <laughs> Cause this hair is just so cute. So super duper love it.